The method we're going to use is a standard written method. It's sometimes referred to as the column method or the bus stop method. The example question we're going to use is 75 divided by 5. Now the important thing to remember is that we're working with tens and units. So the 7 in 75 is in the tens column and the 5 is in the units column. This isn't something we need to know right now, but it does come in handy later on when we do carrying. We lay our sum out like this. So the number we're dividing goes here and the number we're dividing by goes here. We're going to work from left to right along the number, dividing as we go until we find our answer. So let's begin. First we're going to look at the first number, which is the 7. We want to do 7 divided by 5. 7 can be divided by 5 once, with a remainder of 2. So we put the 1 above the 7 to show that 7 divided by 5 is 1. And then we carry our remainder of 2 over to the next number. This is where our knowledge of tens and units comes in. The 7 was in the tens column. So when we carry 2 over, we're really carrying over 2 tens, which is 20. So when we carry our remainder over to the number 5, we're not adding on 2, we're adding on 20. And 5 add 20 is 25. The way we show that is to write a little number 2 next to the 5 to show that it's 25. Now that's quite tricky, so we're just going to say that. So 7 divided by 5 is 1 with a remainder of 2. We put the 1 above the 7 and our remainder of 2 is really 2 tens which is 20 and we add that on to the 5 to make 25. So now we can move on to our next number which has changed from 5 to 25. How many times can 25 be divided by 5? Well the answer is 5 so we write that above the line. The number we now have above our line is our answer. So 75 divided by 5 is 15. Let's say that again right from the beginning. So 7 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 2. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. So our answer is 15.